That's all we want to know is why. Why did you hit my mom and leave her in that road? Why? Six weeks after a beloved crossing guard was hit and killed by a driver who kept going, the South Carolina Highway Patrol has made an arrest in this case. Emma Taylor was helping the children cross the street at Jesse Boyd Elementary School back in late October when a car hit her. South Carolina Highway Patrol and Spartanburg Police have been following up on leads for weeks. Today, they arrested Kenneth Gregory Sullivan in connection to Taylor's death. Now, we have learned that Sullivan has a lengthy rap sheet, including several traffic-related incidents. In Spartanburg County, he's been found guilty of six offenses since 2011, including a seatbelt violation, assault and battery, having an unregistered vehicle, speeding, and having a stolen pistol. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell spoke with Taylor's daughter tonight about how the family is trying to find some closure and heal. Ever since crossing guard Emma Taylor passed away a few weeks ago, her family has been grieving. We cry. We cry when we're by ourselves. We cry when we're together and we're talking about her because we just don't, under, we, just, we didn't understand. Taylor leaves behind a daughter, a son, a granddaughter, and four great grandchildren. She also leaves behind the children. She helped cross the road safely at Jesse Boyd Elementary School. She loved those kids. She talked about those kids, and that was just her world. Taylor's daughter says she would have retired as a crossing guard this month. After the hit and run that claimed her life, the community showed an outpouring of support for her family. Tuesday, the Spartanburg police chief posted a video to social media, imploring the driver who hit Taylor to turn themselves in. Because I can assure you, whoever you may be, we will not stop looking and we will find you and we will bring you to justice. A few hours later, Kenneth Gregory Sullivan was booked in the Spartanburg County Detention Center. For Taylor's family, it was a relief. I feel like she can rest now. You know, a part of us, we, we, we have closure, so now we can heal. Taylor's daughter, Robin, says she forgives the suspected hit and run driver, but she's still angry and she's still asking why he didn't bother to stop. In Spartanburg and Maxwell, Southern News. Sullivan will be going before a judge for a bond hearing. That's expected to happen tomorrow afternoon.